weather. It's been a beautiful day, but a dry day, and we could certainly use a rainy day around here. I hadn't had one in a while. It's been 25 days since significant rain fell. It's 79 and bone dry in Coleman. It is 81 in Gadsden. It is extremely dry, and that's not going to be changing all that much. The evening, not bad in the mid 60s by 8 o'clock and then down close to 60 degrees by 10 p.m. around the Gadsden area might not be quite that cool in Birmingham by 10 p.m. But overall, we're not looking at a major warm spell for the nighttime temperatures, but these daytimes are getting close to record high levels. Thursday, we're going to 85. That's one off the record of 86 set back in 1926. And although we're in the 50s in the morning, it will not be long before you can shed the sleeves because it's already close to 70 by 8 a.m. in the low to mid 80s between 2 and 5 p.m. And that's where that 85 is going to come in. It's a lower lower 80s to the north around Coleman and Sneed and even center though getting to 85 tomorrow. Lineville at 81 Greensboro around 84 coming up on Thursday. Friday looks pretty good. Sunny and warm, but very dry. The high 86. Fortunately, it will cool some by the time high school football gets kicked off. Low 70s by 7 o'clock on Friday evening and then only dropping into the mid 60s. Not a big time hot chocolate kind of Friday night around here. And then into the weekend, you got one more really warm day here Saturday and then things start to drop off some on Sunday. That's because clouds and some showers will come in with a front and temperatures are going to be some 5 to 10 degrees cooler going into the first part of next week, specifically into the weekend. You got the Magic City Classic coming up on Saturday 84 for that one. Very similar kind of conditions for the uh, Alabama game homecoming with Missouri. Uh, temperatures are going to warm up from the 60s at 8 a.m. to the low 80s by 2:30 in the afternoon. And then after the game, once the sun is down, we start to drop off into the upper 60s. But then here comes that chance of some showers and we're using a magnifying glass these days to look for any hope of some showers. So watch this little band of clouds to the north of Birmingham on Saturday afternoon. There may be some sprinkles that develop as early as 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning. Expect the sky to be a bit grayer on Sunday. That band of showers is along a very weak front. Once the front gets down south in Shelby County, Chilton, Coosa County, Clay County, there's a slightly better chance of some showers in this zone. But how much rain are we talking? Less than one tenth of one inch of rain. In fact, the odds of getting significant rain more than a tenth of an inch, practically zero over the next 10 days. Near record warmth tomorrow and Friday. That low chance of rain Sunday, Monday, that's not going to help us even if you get it. And I don't see that guaranteed good rain that starts to kick in in November on the board. Not certainly for the next seven days, probably not for the next 10 days, and maybe not for as many as 15 days. We could continue this dry streak all the way through Halloween and beyond that through the first part of November. If no rain falls in Birmingham Sunday and Monday, it will be the driest October in 100 years.